Now this is a command performance for Gary Seaton. It's called The Acts of Courage by Johnny the Ferret Moran in circa 2012. A bloke I know called Stuart Rouse, a friend of mine from the road, came to grief one night and rolled his truck with a dangerous load. He was travelling south along the putty road when the steering failed and he rolled his dangerous load. The truck left the road and went over the edge, upside down over Darky Creek. And when me and my mate came across this, neither of us could speak. I nearly tore my fingernails off, clawing at the rocks and the dirt, trying to get in under the cab to see how bad our mate was hurt. The hot water and the engine oil was pouring into a crack, right above where he was pinned, landing squarely on his back. I got a raincoat over him that protected him some, but we later found out that the damage had already been done. It was two o'clock in the morning and freezing cold, minus two degrees in the mountains that night, and my friend didn't look too good in the beam of the old flashlight. The paramedics arrived on the scene, who I was bloody glad to see. The trouble was that the doctor was twice as big as me. He said, I can't get in there, no way. You'll have to give him a shot, mate. That man needs morphine real bad. He's really in a dire strait. He showed a lot of courage, that man, though he really was badly hurt, trying really hard to stay calm, being fin pinned down, face in the dirt. Then standing on the rock with my mate, along above the freezing creek, holding onto the air compressor, hoping not to fall into the creek. Then I saw it on my mate's overalls, the biggest trapdoor spider I've ever seen. I said to him, have a look down your leg, and the poor bugger's face turned green. He was really terrified of spiders, but his courage made him tough it out. Because if we had dropped that compressor, then the jaws of life would have gone out. We had nowhere to go and a compressor to hold, and fear was the flavour of the week. So I slowly took off my old toweling hat and belted the spider into the creek. It was daylight on the putty when the helicopter finally got away to take our mate to Sydney to find out where his destiny lay. He had very severe injuries and he never worked again. He never took another unaided step. Many years of suffering and pain. Stuart Rouse had come to grief that night and he had carried his very last load. And I had witnessed many acts of courage that fateful night on the infamous Putty Road. <laughs>